Welcome to Little Newton. Fractions, skill number two, word problems, part to whole model. Gabrielle and Adam shared a piece of pizza. Gabrielle ate one half of it. Adam ate one fourth of the same pizza. What fraction of the pizza did they eat altogether? Leave your answer as a fraction in simplest form. Let's break down the question and understand it, shall we? Gabrielle and Adam shared a piece of pizza. Gabrielle ate one half of it. What fraction of the pizza did Gabrielle eat? That's right, he ate one half of it. Let's use a circle to represent the pizza that Gabrielle and Adam shared. Now, let's cut the circle with a line down the center. This divides the pizza into two equal parts. Let's look at one part. This is one part out of two parts that make up the whole pizza. So this represents the one half that Gabrielle ate. Adam ate one fourth of the same pizza. What fraction of the pizza did Adam eat? Excellent! He ate one fourth of the same pizza. What is one fourth of the same pizza? Let's take another look at the whole pizza. It has been cut into two equal parts. This time, let's take a closer look at the other one half of the pizza. Now, let's cut this one half pizza to two equal parts. We will do the same for the one half that Gabrielle ate. How many parts make up the whole pizza now? That's right, four parts make up the whole pizza. One part out of the four parts represents the fraction of pizza that Adam ate. What fraction of the pizza did they eat altogether? Leave your answer as a fraction in simplest form. The question asks us to find the fraction of pizza that Gabrielle and Adam ate altogether. The question also requires us to leave our answer in the simplest form. Alright, now that we've understood the question, let's move on to solve this word problem. Step number two, decide an approach using our decision guide. Heuristics decision guide. Could you represent the problem using a model or a diagram? If yes, use the model method. Step number three, carry out the plan Solve the problem using our selected approach, the part-to-whole model. Gabrielle and Adam shared a piece of pizza. Gabrielle ate one half of the pizza. Now, let's use a rectangle to represent the pizza. Let's divide the pizza into two equal parts. One part out of the two parts represents the fraction of pizza Gabrielle ate. Adam ate one-fourth of the same pizza. This time, let's divide the rectangle equally into four smaller parts or four units. One unit represents a fraction of pizza Adam ate. Now, look carefully at the diagram. Can you see that the pizza Gabriel ate is now represented by two units? Can you also see that the total amount of pizza they both ate is equal to 2 units plus 1 unit? Do you understand? Great! Let's move on to the next part. The total number of parts they ate is equal to 2 units plus 1 unit equals 3 units. 3 of 4 units is equal to 3 fourths of the pizza. Hence, Gabrielle and Adam ate 3 fourths of the pizza all together. Let's move on to check our answers and ensure they are correct. This time, let's simply add the two fractions representing the pizza Gabrielle and Adam ate, respectively. We know that Gabrielle ate one half of the pizza and Adam ate one fourth of the pizza. To find the total fraction of the pizza they ate, we can add one half and one fourth. Do you think we can simply add the fractions? No, we cannot. This is because they have two different denominators. Let's change one half to have a denominator of four. What is the equivalent fraction of one half 
that has a denominator of 4. Let's multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. So, 1 half plus 1 fourth is equal to 2 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. We managed to arrive at the same answer with a different method. Therefore, we know our answer is correct.